What happens to my 100,000? Now we are going to open a center. Why? This center will initially, like... Henry, the, the last thing the world needs is another golf training center. Next in the den, the Omidi family from Vancouver, B.C., and their golf gadget that they say perfects a player's swing. The never-ending quest to improve your golf swing is a billion-dollar business. And Henry Omidi says he can transform the average golfer into a pro. Hi, Dragons. My name is Vonkin. And my name is Ashley. And we are the, the Wiz Kids. Hello, Dragons. My name is Henry Omidi. We come, I come from Surrey, B.C. And my company is the Golf Swing Wizards. And we're here asking you today to invest uh, 100 grand for every 10% of the company. What is it? What I've done is taken all the fundamentals of the golf swing, put it in a simple swing wizard. How does it work, Henry? We got the lead arm always straight. We got the person standing always in the, in the golf position. But Henry, he knows that because you're there. Can, can I try it? Yes, Jim, you can. why don't you and I try it and see if Henry can help us? <laughs> the suit will be a little tight, but uh, we can do this. <laughs> Henry, I'm trying to lose some weight. I mean... No, you look good. You look sexy. Henry says the swing wizard forces the body to memorize the perfect swing through repetition. This is like a runner having a treadmill. A box has a punching bag. He claims golfers can iron out bad habits and improve their game in just five minutes. Come into the ball, fire, and off you go. Follow through. The Swing Wizard sells for $160 and includes a DVD. I think I just saw the most boring thing I've ever seen, trying to watch you play golf. Henry has spent 10 years developing the gadget. And, uh, check them. How much have you sunk into this? I've sunk in 380000 of your own money? Of my own money. Where? Where's 380000 I have a um, um, product of uh, about retailing at 200 and about 80000 I already have product. You have inventory. You bought 200000 yeah. inventory. Yeah. And also, due to the fact that I've only been golfing for 10 years, I had to train a lot. The first three years, we are spending four hours on the driving range every night. So you weren't working? I've been working. I've been working nights, nice, uh, 13 hours a day. Doing what? I'm a truck driver. OK. So how many have you sold, Henry? Uh, over 120 of them. If we're going to talk business, why don't you uh, let your kids go? All right. Henry sunk a lot of time and money, but has few sales to justify the investment. Bye, kids. It's okay. Just... And that's raised a red flag. Thank you. So. You borrowed $200,000 so that you didn't have to work and you could go golfing for two years? Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Where did you get $380,000 from? It's been over nine years, sir. So you've been building up debt for nine yes, years? Yes, I've been building and working just... So somewhere years. along the way, when you started to see it go past 100000 of personal debt, did you ask yourself, what am I doing? Sometimes things have to change. What does that mean? Golf has been has been going on for 150 years. So what? It's been so, going on without you for 150 years. Yes, but someone has to change it. Why? Why? Because it? the scores have never changed. The game is too simple to take that long to learn. It takes me five minutes to fix any swing. Henry, there's 50 guys on late night TV that can fix my swing. And there's a for, million from anywhere swing from aids out there. Anywhere from 29.95 to 295. There are 40 clinics that I can go to for eight hundred to three thousand dollars, I've done all that. I'm a bad golfer. You know that's the bottom line here. You you are not special in any way. But you're not alone. So there's millions of people saying exactly who have your story. What happens to my hundred thousand? Now we are going to open a center. Why? This center will initially like Henry, th the last thing the world needs is another golf training center. Henry, this is your dream and my nightmare as an investor. You, uh, sometimes people see visions and some people don't. It takes time for someone ah. to see what I see. And if you see a vision and no one will follow you, then you're just delusional. And I'm willing to do what it takes to... Ch At what risk, Henry? At what risk? Your family's risk? 
Henry, why did you buy so much inventory before you had any real sales? Because I was ready for, I already knew what, I, what, it, what the Swing Wizard can do. Henry, it doesn't bother you that you spent that kind of money that you could have invested into your family or other stuff or saved away? My family will be fine. I'm a hard worker. Did anybody ever tell you it's a bad idea? No, because it works. Uh. Henry, I don't believe that. I don't think it works as well as you think it works. I'm out. Henry, here's the problem. You, you have the passion to start a business, but Kevin, what does every business need to do every day? Sell something. I'm out. Everything you say is a business mistake. Everything you've said, and you haven't learned that over nine years, and you're hearing it from all of us say, no, don't do this anymore. This is your dream, this is your passion, this is not a business. I'm out. I totally understand, Aline. I can see your point of view. It's just that this is my passion. It may be your passion, I don't care. I can't see how I can make any money at all. I'm out. Henry, I think you might have something. Unlike some of the others, I think you might be onto something as a golf technique or a, as a swing trick. But um, I don't think you're going to turn it into the business you do. I'm out. So frustrating. Yeah, I'm. You know what? And Brett, I actually, I, I don't get saying that that's a good idea after nine years. That debt makes me want to cry. It's okay. I mean, um, when you're working on something, when you're inventing something, when you're changing something, nobody sees what you see.